This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. We're looking at those questions and seeing which of the following factors could affect the color of the solutions tested. So remember in this experiment that we're t we have this solution of pyrocatechol, and we're going to add different drops of potato juice at varying temperatures and pH levels in order to see if it turns yellow, dark yellow, faint yellow, or just has no color. So let's look at our answer choices, and it's going to be pretty simple once we look at our choices. So our first choice says to vary the temperature above 100 degrees Celsius. So we saw in experiment one, we're looking at the solution at three different temperatures, 0, 25, and 100. But we see that when we look at it at 100 degrees, it's colorless after five minutes and also after 30 minutes. So putting it leads us to believe that a temperature of above 100 degrees will still have it be colorless because we see that it's yellow when it's between 100, when it's between 100 and 0. So that's probably not going to be a good thing to do. Choice two, observe the colors after 60 minutes of standing. So that's probably a good thing to do because in both experiments, we look at them after 5 and 30, and this is the same for experiment two. So it would probably be pretty useful to look at them after an hour because maybe the colors, maybe they'll fade, maybe they'll get darker. So that's pretty cool. Um, choice number three, vary the concentrations of the solution. So this isn't going to be a very valid answer since we're trying to see what happens when we add different, um, when we add uh, potato juice droppings at different temperatures and pHs. So if the concentrations are off, then that's not really going to tell us anything. That's just going to mess with the integrity of the experiment. And choice number four is similar to choice one. So if we varied our pH levels above 10, we saw that at 10, the solution at pH 10 was still colorless. So it leads us to believe that like having temperatures above 100, if the pH levels were higher, then the solution would probably be colorless. So the only thing that makes a lot of sense is choice two.